Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. You are welcome to Joyuzo TV. If this is your first time of stopping by, you are very welcome. In this video guys, I want to show you how you can use a single knot. I mean a single knot to ventilate a silky human hair texture bundles, okay? If it sounds like something you are interested in, then just keep watching. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Guys, if you are the type that do not like using double knot or double split for your human hair, then this video is for you. I will be using a single knotting method for this uh, ventilation. Guys, this hair is very, very silky, I must say, very silky. So you will see the way I ventilated it to make it strong, like a tight knot. So what I'm doing here, I already cut out the weft and uh, I brush out the small hair. Just wash closely. I'm going to be doing a single twist, uh, single double twist knot. A single double twist knot. As you can see, I passed it out. You can see that I twisted the hair twice before bringing it out through the loop just wash i pass it through pick the strand of hair that i want bring it out then come back and twist it twice instead of once to make the knot tight if you are working with a human hair that is not silky you can also do this method or you can just do the single twist a single knot but this is double twist because of the texture of the of the hair I'm working with. It's going to unravel if I do not make it very tight. So when I'm done guys, I'm going to also show you how you can, in fact, how you should show, just show it to your client to know how to wash their hair. Because most times when you ventilate and you just give it to your client, maybe some of them do not know how to really wash their hair. Then the, the single knot is going to unravel immediately. It will start coming out from the down. I'm going to ventilate the closure that I showed earlier. And you will see how I am going to wash it. So guys, that's what I, I use the single double twist for this closure, for everything that I did on this closure. And you can see the direction that I explained uh, the last time about ventilating to the right direction to get a flat, a flat closure. Except you want a closure that is uh, a little bit high, then you can ventilate on the wrong direction. Like I ventilate, I, I ventilate to the direction I'm standing at, as you can see. You can see I'm done with the back section of the hair. And I try to take the hair to the wrong direction. You can see how high it's looking. It's looking bulky and also looking very full. That's the advantage. Your hair is going to look very full but it's going to look high but you can also bring it down with uh, with a uh, hot comb and you can see that now that i have combed it to the right direction it's looking flat i use this slanted method you can see i ventilated on one hole and skipped one hole but i did not skip a line because i wanted the closure to look very full but at the front i did the in-between diagonal method 
for the side to side at the back i did the uh, slant method which is the vertical diagonal but just keeping only a hole no lines so you can see what the closure is looking like after i'm done i did not want to just show how i did this uh, closure because i already have a detailed video on how to make a closure so i'm just only showing you how you can do the double twist single knot okay you can see how full it's looking i only skipped a hole i did not skip any line you can see how full it's looking and this closure i'm going to wash it for you to see guys i must tell you the truth i was afraid <laughs> at first i did not want to uh uh like uh, install like sew the the bundles first before trying to wash it because i i don't want to even waste my energy I was afraid i wanted to wash the closure only the closure to see if it will come out from the dark guys do not put your hair in washing machine do not do not wash your wig wigs in washing machine no do not do that and also i'm just showing with this uh, cloth do not wash your hair like this like you are washing clothes or use iron sponge to wash your hair do not you can see i'm doing it do not wash your hair your wigs like this it's going to get bad immediately okay so just wash your wash your hair with care add put water add your soap then just wash gently wash with care like when you are putting it just continue to brush brushing is the washing you know? when you are you just continue to brush it in the water with uh, with uh, your uh, hair shampoo just wash gently wash it gently do not rush it okay you will see that the hair did not come out i just finished uh, ventilating and i dipped it in water now and also your knot should be tight if make sure your knot is tight guys do not say joy said we can wash the closure immediately after ventilating no <laughs> your knot should be tight before you even think of going close to water or you wash the bundles first before you ventilate with it except it's a new hair then you can ventilate like that but your knot should be tight because you don't know if your client knows how to wash the hair gently or not make sure your knot is tight and to be on the safe side i will say a double knot or a, a, a double split knot that's what i will recommend for silky hair okay so if you found this video helpful please do not forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video like share and comment also like and follow my facebook page if you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewers, you guys are always the boss. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate your support. God bless you. Feel free to check out my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Love you.